let's be honest here. We don't have the smartest president in the world. We don't have the smartest administration in the world. And this story makes it even worse. Not only is the economy crashing, not only are we on the verge of World War III, not only are we on the verge of civil war, but we have a dumbass motherfucking president. And let me explain to you and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Two fake homeland security agents. One with ties to Pakistani intelligence and multiple Iranian visas. Spent 18 months infiltrating and buying gifts for Jill Biden's Secret Service detail in luxury D.C. building where they all lived and partied. Oh, what? Haider Shir Ali, age 36, and Aryan Taz blah, 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 age 40, were arrested Wednesday for impersonating federal agents with the Department of Homeland Security. The duo claimed to be involved in an investigation into the January 6th Capitol attack, of course. Agents with the FBI, NCIS, and USPIS swarmed several floors and units of luxury apartment buildings crossing D.C. and southwest D.C., a former representative of Crossing D.C. who worked at the building since the start of Tizard's at least confirmed that none of the units were being paid for. When asked why they weren't paying rent on the units, units, the individuals responded with one word, government. According to sources, the Tishman, Tishman Spire-owned building cooperated with Tarzade and Ali, believing the guys was that they were federal agents. Building management, the sources allege, provided the duo with access to surveillance cameras and codes to access all doors within the building. A member of building management sent an email to tenants at 11.38 on Thursday claiming FBI concluded its search overnight and is no longer on the premises. These two men, faked being part of the Secret Service, not only do they do that, but the Biden administration, this is the Secret Service detail for his wife, fell for this shit. If this is not the biggest smack in the face and the biggest reminder of the idiots that we have representing us in the White House or in Congress, or even Secret Service, FBI, De uh, Department of Defense, then nothing else will prove it to you. These two dudes were able to fool people into believing they were part of the government. So much so, they hung out with Secret Service and had access to Jill Biden. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? Yeah, of course it is, but it's the truth, and it just kind of is what it is. Let's go ahead and get to this. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So we, there we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at the story. Now to that Secret Service scandal. Federal prosecutors charging two men who they say pose as Homeland Security officials giving gifts to Secret Hilarious. Service agents, including one who worked on the First Lady's security team. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, is in Washington with more for us this morning. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Michael. This is a wild story with allegations of lavish gifts to agents working at the White House, fake IDs, piles of money, and a big question, was someone or some country behind this? And what were they after? This morning, as the FBI gathers evidence, jaw-dropping charges against two men who authorities Let's say be honest, can it get any worse? Can we have any dumber of a president? Can we have any, any more fucked up of a government and everything? Like, I understand you liberals really hated Trump, but come on, man. Come on. This is something that is beyond um, inept. This is something that is beyond dumb. I can't even fathom how this is possible. In today's age, where surveillance happens in every fucking aspect of society. They have the NSA. They have all of these people spying on you and me. But they can't even catch this within a reasonable amount of time. How much time? 18 months? For more than two years, posed as Homeland Security two years. investigating agents. 
and the suspension of very real Secret Service agents, including one who was tasked with protecting Jill Biden, who court documents say accepted extravagant gifts from the men. I'm who not surprised. Arrested. Authorities say Ariane Teherzada and Haider Ali used this luxury DC apartment building just blocks from the US Capitol to convince the Secret Service agents they were federal special police agents of course. to investigate gang violence and the January 6th insurrection. Of course. And, court and no one... And see, here's the problem with multiculturalism. Had you guys not been so... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Non-suspicious of people that aren't Americans, the minute you saw they were Middle Eastern, the minute you saw their names, you would have questioned it. Ain't no Muhammad Atta, uh <laughs> part of the Secret Service. Stop it. They had access to authentic-looking DHS badges and weapons, secure laptops, and other equipment. Those four suspended agents allegedly accepting thousands of dollars worth of gifts from the men. Of course they did. Including rent-free apartments worth more than $3,000 a month, iPhones, and a flat-screen TV, surveillance systems, and a drone. The amount of time it took, the money it took, buying the equipment, having surveillance gear, all of those things go to... Somebody's put up a lot of money to pull this off. Right. Tahir Zada allegedly sending photos to a Secret Service agent wearing a tactical vest with Homeland Security patches and another posing in a closet filled with police protective gear. Tahir Zada even allegedly going so far as to have recruited one of the agents for DHS, according to court documents. Part of that process involved shooting the agent with an air rifle in order to evaluate the agent's reaction and pain tolerance. Also, How's that not suspicious? One of the Secret Service agents saying he was sitting in a class. Investigators revealing that same photo was a stock photo taken from a DHS tweet. Mm -hmm. There are so what? many red flags in this particular story. It's actually horrifying to me that anybody would buy into this. It, certainly it was enough to convince- Motherfuckers were using stock photos? A number of secret services. I can't even get, we couldn't even get away with that on YouTube or Facebook. One of these motherfucking trolls or somebody would put that shit in Google image search quick than a motherfucker. Like that's crazy. Officers, that these guys were legitimate that, of course, is just an allegation at this point. But this morning, the Secret Service saying it is fully cooperating with the investigation <laughs> and that the organization adheres to the highest levels of professional standards right. and conduct. But this investigation is only just beginning. Robin, only we've just only beginning. just right. begun. Ain't this a bitch, man? How the fuck did these people... Look at them, hanging out with Secret Service, drinking beers, swimming in the pool, playing with each other's balls. This is insane. One of the Secret Service agents accused of getting gifts was, of course, Jill Biden. What is with the corruption here? So much corruption here. They're tagging each other on Facebooks. I, you can't, I can't even believe this. I can't even understand it. But yet I can. We have an administration and we have people involved in our administration and on the left that are just fucking fools. They just, as long as you're not white, then you can't possibly have white privilege. You can't be a racist. We'll take you in. What's your name? Osama bin Laden. Yes, we believe you're part of the um, department. We believe you're part of the uh, Capitol Police and Department of Defense. We get it. <sighs> it's your first story of the day. I got many more coming, probably. I'm JB Gunner. This is JB Gunner TV. Guys, if you like what I do and you want to support the channel, by all means, hit the links down below. All new cash apps, all of that. Appreciate you all. Make sure you check it out. We will be live over on the JB Gunner backup channel. 
um, a little bit later on today with a live stream. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. This is your first news story of the day. We uh, live in a country that our administration just, they're careless. They don't care. Our country's going down the hill. It's, it's fading, and you guys can clearly see it. Let me know in the comment section what you think, man. This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard.